Hello guys and welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. Um, <clears throat> we do have some kind of a new update here and let's go ahead and check what we got for update. So let's talk about it. Um, so pretty much we got a double summon campaign. Now we got release Shiva and Ramu. Pretty much clear the mission to get a total of 70 draw tickets which is kind of cool. Log in for 8 days to get a total of blue crystals of 1.5k which is also good. Um, nothing about that. We have a new event called the Pumpkin Fest. Um, so as for today's date, um, pretty much you get a new weapon for Tifa, which is Sundara Surge. We'll talk about that later on. We got our new enemy, which is the Dark Army General. You get the weapons that you need from the banner, so you'll be able to get more rewards from it. Um, pretty much we're going to talk about that later on. I think this is still the... Um, yeah, it says here Red Crystal, so I'm not going to talk about that. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and talk about the event first and we're gonna talk about the banner. So as you can see, again, you don't have to rush on this one. This one is kind of cool. Um, let's go ahead and talk about what we have here. So as you can see, um, we do have an event here. Complete the normal and co-op. Remember that co-op has been relevant to, uh, between those days. So you have to do that, of course. Uh, you get the new weapon, which is the Black Hat Paws. Uh, I could have, I, I don't know why, but I'm expecting to get a, a skin of Kitty Cat for, for Tifa. But since we already have her weapon, I don't think they're going to release any skin for her sooner or later. So let's talk about it. So we got some Dara Surge, deals 220 magical lightning damage to all enemies, boost magic attack and boost lightning potency, attack boost, attack boost, and magic attack boost, which is good. You get Brandstone, which is for you to actually get magic and magic defense. The gacha tickets, the normal gacha tickets, and of course the new good stuff which is the mithril, the mithril ore, the Tifa specific weapon, and pretty much the, all the good stuff. Remember guys that this will be updated later on in half of the half of the half of the patch. And just complete this normal stuff and you'll be able to get blue crystals along the way. Also with co-op, which is kind of cool. That and if I go directly to the solo. And then we go to summons. <clears throat> You'll see that the new Shiva and Ramu is there. So as you can see, you get either the new two weapons, which is Kate Sith and Vincent Valentine, which is the Blissara and the Thundara. Deals 240 magical non-elemental damage for a single enemy. Deals critical rate per 10. Also, ice resistance is decreased, thunder resistance is decreased. So, this is cool, I'll say it. It, it. it is kind of cool getting this weapon because you're getting ice resistance is decreased, which is very good for an ice Tifa. Um, I don't know who ice we have. A sack, I guess. We do have an ice sack. Um, ice sack. That sounds kind of crazy. Um... And I think we also no I don't oh no I don't remember about any I think that the only ice dedicated characters are gonna be Sack and Tifa I haven't heard of an I oh I, and we I think we do have an Ice Ephra as far as I remember so this one gives you boost fire resistance it boosts HP attack boost magic and magic attack boost and I'm pretty sure that Vincent Valentine it's absolutely the same yeah absolutely the same except that this one provides you water resistance gives you boost HP attack boost magic magic attack boost again any kind of new weapon for Vincent Valentine is cool um, because of the fact of the of the high wind pretty much like that now let's go directly to the banner which is the last thing I'm gonna be talking about yeah uh, you already know the drill I'm not gonna repeat it so you guys can tell me shut the freak up and let's go directly to what we need to talk about so let's go with Kate Sid first I'll be honest I really like the skin looks very creepy looks very cool and I think that we can relate about the hotel of, co of uh, what's it called this name the gold saucer, which is cool. Now let's go directly to the weapon, which is Witch Broom. So, Tumbly Tackle deals 260 physical non-elemental damage, for critical rate per 10. Also, magic defense is decreased. And when the self HP is 50 or more, thunder resistance is decreased, which is kind of cool. Give you boost attack and boost lightning potency, physical attack boost lightning, and sigil boost. Now, this one about the thunder resistance is decreased, I also like it because of the fact that if you have a Thunder Tifa, a Thunder um, Cloud, a Thunder Lucia, 
then you're pretty much good with this one. I think those are the only Thunder ones that I actually think that they're dedicated. And we're going to the skin, which is the Pumpkin Jacket, Eerie Mask, which provides you magical defense and HP for 5%, and the buff defense, which we already know about. And lastly, let's go with Vincent Valentine. Again, I was waiting for a cape person, but I think that the cape thing doesn't does, doesn't look... Well, it looks good. And to be honest, this is like a, a Sephiroth 2.0 skin, which I also like. Unfortunately, I don't have any blue crystals. The Tifa banner is it actually got me dry with blue crystals, and I don't think I'm going to be pulling for any of those skins later on. So let's go directly to the weapon, which is Crow Familiar. Deals 520 magical lightning damage for a single enemy. Also, when the buff is granted to himself, 1.2k of damage. Increase limit gauge for 4% and RNG for itself. Boost magic attack, boost lightning potency, magic and magic, and sigil boost. Which again, this one, by having the combination, now we have a lightning Vincent, besides of the other lightning characters that I just mentioned. And I'll say it, it's it's like pretty much a lightning attack for Cloud, which it was for the Murasame. Uh, that, that's our very first banner, very first skin, and very first uh, dedicated elemental damage for our Cloud. And this is exactly the same, but uh, giving us the 1.2 damage is it's a buff. It pretty much, you know, because of the fact that we're getting power creep and we need new weapons. I understand why they did this. But this is a magical attack. The cloud lightning half that we have, it's for magic, uh, for physical. And for people who did pull for the Monster Hunter collaboration with Tifa, also have lightning damage. So if you already have a lightning Tifa and you pull for it, then I would recommend you not to go for this weapon or the banner. If you're there for the skin, which I think it's awesome, then let's go directly what we have here. Again, magic defense for 50% and HP for 5%. Also, leave in Blade Arcana, which provides you lightning ability damage for 35%. I'll say, guys, it's, it's a very good... It's a very, very good uh, collaboration. I think that the skins are the worth of pulling for those banners. But again, we already lost Cloud um, uh, weapon and skin. So we only have Yuffie left. And, we all, and then we have Aerith until 9th of October. And later on, Tifa, which is our last one, until October the 16th. So those are the last banners that we're going to see here later on. <laughs> People who did pull for Cloud, congratulations, because Cloud, for, for the four skins that I'm seeing here, I will say Cloud takes first place, Aerith takes second place, Tifa takes third place, and Yuffie, I don't know, I give, him a fourth I give her a fourth place. So for people who actually got Cloud sk uh, skin and weapon, at least for the over over boost of his weapon, I think that you don't have to pull for any more banners unless if you're looking for the skins. Besides, you're also getting the ultimate weapon, which I don't remember how you can get this, so I'll just go ahead and open it here for myself. For people who doesn't remember, the HP Shroud provides you, well, if it wasn't for the over over boost, you'll be getting like a certain amount of physical magical ultimate damage, also haste is applied for all of your allies, you can do it for 2 times, duration for 20 seconds, and extension for 20 seconds more, and the charges for 60 seconds as well. Buff debuff extension, and interruption ATB boost, which is kind of very good for the ultimate weapon. Again, uh, if you already saw my previous Tifa, um, video when I was pulling for her banner I just get this ultimate weapon out of nowhere and that's pretty much awesome so just returning back about what is the percentage that what yeah what is the percentage about how you can get this weapon which is the ultimate one uh, I think it's in details and we go to yeah it's in card details uh, or not where was it oh there you go details and odds um, so as you can see here, yeah, a 0 0.31, well, this one got increased. Is it the same as this one? Let me go directly and see that. Yeah, it's the same one. So it's a 0.3% of getting it. So it's kind of, you know, hard to get it. I know it says a 0.3%. But again, it's kind of hard to get this weapon. So if you're just pulling out of nowhere and just just pulling and pulling and pulling, and you just get the the ultimate weapon, then 
Oh, ultimate weapon. I'm, I'm not. I'm sorry. I don't know why I say Ultima. But yeah, if you get the ultimate weapon along the way by just pulling, then it's an addition. Again, I was a very, very hype of getting this weapon, but I don't play Kate Sith, and I'm trying my best to try to play Kate Sith, but I haven't got any kind of build for him. So as long as I have a very good build for him, which I think it's for the duration of buffs that you can do, then I think I'll be able to play with Kate Sith a bit longer. But other than that, again, I think that the skins are, are very, very amazing. And as far as I'm actually reviewing right now, why did I just get an update here? So as you can see a bit further, it says that the weapons for Zack and Glenn got updated. So... Oh, and you also get a special voucher. Trade for a pumpkin fest voucher. Let me go directly and go to the exchange to see that. No, it's not this one. There you go. <coughs> so the voucher, this is for you if you want to get any of the other skins that we missed. Good thing I almost forget about that. So we got Zack skin and we also got the Glenn skin, which those are the previous skins that we had in our last year. So let's go ahead and talk about Zack here. So you get boost HP, which is kind of cool, and boost physical attack, which is also good. And also you get boost HP and physical attack. This is for people who already got the skins, I guess. Because it, it says here that this is just for the skins, not for the weapon itself. So, it, and just to give you the heads up, the weapon for Zack is cool. And I think that the weapon for Glenn is also cool. So, here, obviously you're just getting for this. But if I go directly to the wish list, which I think, or I'm not sure... Let me go to sack. Okay, this one is not um, boosted. So you, if you want to get for the weapon, then go for it. But no, they're not boosting the weapon. They're just giving you opportunities for... Uh, what were the characters? of oh, Vincent to get this feature and Kate's it as well. So you're just there specifically for the skins if you're looking for the voucher itself. <coughs> so if you're looking for getting either sack skin or Glenn skin, or if you want to go directly with... Benson skin or also um, Kate's head skin then you're free to do that so but getting those two skins updated for the stats are absolutely an addition and they I think that they buff a bit here because it says four star five stars or higher guaranteed and then the rest of them as well so guys if you're looking to do that then you're absolutely very good remember that for every pool that you're getting you're getting mako shards so you'll be able to complete an ultimate weapon that on your choice and you can do that by going directly to the exchange as well and if you go to mako Jensen's change either you get the hp shroud or the genji blade which in my case i think i already have how much 200 and something 260 so if I pull 40 times which it have to be 10 times not once you have to pull 10 times but I'm talking about not single pulls I'm talking about the 10 pulls that you need to do then you're gathering 10 Mako shards in order for you to exchange either for the Genji blade and the XP shard just a last reminder for the Genji blade deals 200 um, 2k of physical magical non elemental damage also physical attack is increased magic attack is increased and pretty much it does interruption mastery and boost ability potency which is very good um, pretty much again if you're looking for those weapons you're free to do that so but in total you need to pull 30 times in order for you to get either the ultimate uh, the ultimate weapons which is the HP shroud or the Genji blade which again those ultimate weapons are just an extra addition for an extra attack and pretty much is very useful for any kind of the events that you're looking for. So that's all. Um, I'll just go directly with one last thing which is going to be the campaign. I think we have campaigns here. So it says here, attempt the trial of summon Shiva and Ramu, consumes 100 summon of each battle, 500, send a message in the guild chat, collect high winds on the rewards, and synthesis material 10 times. Which again, this is very easy to do. Do your normal stuff. Go to do the Shiva and Ramu. Go ahead and go directly to the high wind uh, rewards, and you're pretty much good to go. Which, I don't have anything. Do I have something else in the collection? Oh, that was... It's weird. Oh, it's because I I increased something. Yeah, I remember. But okay. 
you get the you get the drill guys well, lastly just go directly to the event I'm just gonna do my recap right now to do the attack of the dark army general complete what you need to complete here complete what you need to complete here you're getting blue crystals along the way remember that we're also getting rewards by just doing your gifts here which we're getting right now a hundred well you're getting 1.5k of blue crystals along the way so don't forget about that and don't forget to daily just daily do the central story so you'll be getting 50 blue crystals complete this to get 100 blue crystals along the way and I'm stuck in this one I'm stuck in here um, I'm I'm actually in the Bahamut one and I'm actually very very struggling in this one here I don't know by increasing my weapons my armor or I don't know what I need to do but I'm struggling here if I was struggling in Shiva right here I'm struggling now in Bahamut or Behemoth uh, Behemoth I'm sorry it was a Behemoth Stewart yeah Behemoth Stewart the red Behemoth one that's the one that I'm struggling right now but again if you don't complete it no worries you're not missing a lot of stuff here what you really need to do is this one so you'll be able to get the parts for the ultimate weapon which I think if I go to the exchange which I remember that it was the metal ones yeah the ultimate one and I don't think I'm gonna be I don't think I'm gonna be completing this one if we get more events if we're getting more Ultima uh, I'm sorry ultimate exchange weapons then I think we're good to go but other than that that's all and lastly it's gonna be the weapon um, the banner that we have Vincent Valentine this one is lightning and this one is a deep buffer for lightning and each one of them have HP defense uh, yeah physical defense and HP de and HP per 5% and I don't remember about Kate said well what was this one buff and beef of extension and the other one is the lightning mastery so that's all guys I hope that we can get more at the half of the October thing if you're still looking for Yuffie or Aerith or Tifa's banner which I'm doing Tifa right now to try to overboot this one as well uh, go ahead and do that so as you can see my stamps are absolutely horrible and again, I'm trying to overboost Tifa to five star. If I don't, if I recall it correctly, I think she should be under 110. Yeah, I'm looking to do this at least over overboost like um, Cloud because again, those abilities and weapons are very very sick. So if you still have the ability to, or the chance to try to pull for those banners, the one that you're looking for, no worries, you're not missing anything. Those weapons are totally broken. I can admit that. So all of them are are absolutely amazing in their way. Buffer, buff your magic attack, remove the uh, provides magic defense to all of your allies, and also increases damage if the enemy is in the default state. And you already got Cloud. Like Cloud did like exactly 30k of damage just doing his ability attack, just by attacking and doing haste. It's totally broken. As well for Tifa, which provides all of the magic attack for all of your characters. Um, and also ha haste to uh, on the caster so it's also the same for cloud again all of those weapons are kind of cool if you have the chance to pull them go ahead if you don't if you're finished and if you don't like the skins then wait for the next ones so pretty much I think that again if you already pull for those banners you're not gonna be pulling any more banners unless if you think that the skins are absolutely amazing I think that you're just pulling you <laughs> sorry you'll just be pulling for the skins here so that's all guys and good luck with your polls um, and if you're looking for all the skins that I told you or the weapons that I told you Jen go ahead and do that so I think I'm gonna be pulling last time for Tifa I'm stamping 111 I think this is my bad polls for for the for the you know for the skin uh, for the stamps for Tifa right now but I think I call it out maybe they heard me and they say you know when give him one 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 so he can use money but I'm not even sure internet could be crazy those days so that's all guys may your hearts be your gun and key see you guys into the next video and again hopefully I can see you into the next week hopefully because I got some personal problems here so that's all see you guys later and peace